guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen my other video about rebuilding my motor and stuff, I mean, go ahead and click it up here. It'll take you to the video. You can show what's, uh, what I'm doing to the motor and all that and rebuilding it. But what this video is going to be about, it's about pistons, okay? It's about clearances, how to set them up and all that. And there's a lot of, uh, I don't want to say misinformation out there. I don't think it is. I think it's just bit more of a misunderstanding. Uh, I even had some misunderstanding about it as well. And what I'm going to try to cover in this video is how to set up your clearances on your pistons, okay? Or ba basically on your rods. Uh, like I said, I have a six liter uh, motor, cranks sitting over there, okay? Pistons are sitting in here. And what we're going to do is going to measure the crank in, the rod in, okay? Then what we're going to do is transfer that measurement to a dial bore gauge. Then from there, uh, we're going to put the bearings in the piston, okay? Then we're going to measure from the dial bore gauge in the piston, and the difference of that should be your clearance, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you uh, how, how I'm going to set up the gauge over here, get the measurement, I'm going to transfer it. Then I'm going to set my dial bore gauge. Then uh, I'm going to put some bearings in here. Then we're going to talk about some uh, different size bearings. You got standard sets, you got uh, undersized and oversized bearings. So anyway, and I'll show you how we can adjust, you know, the, the number you're looking for and stuff, or the clearance that you want on that uh, rod in. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, before we get started, I am not a machinist by any means. I do not have the really expensive tools to actually go down to that precision level. Um, both my tools are pretty cheap, um, but so far uh, they have been getting me by. Uh, so with that said, uh, take for this video for what it's worth. This is how I set it up. If you want to go out and buy those three and $400 gauges to set up your motor, by all means do it. Take it to machine shop, let them do it. Go ahead and do it. But what you're going to see in this video is how I set it up and what equipment I use. So take for what it's worth. I mean, I've been building these, my motor, race motors now for 20 plus years. And so far it's been working for me. Now it might not work for you, but it's been working for me. So anyway, with that, let's get started. Okay, to get started, you're going to need one of these. It's a micrometer. Like I said, it's not the really expensive one, but it has been getting me by for what I need. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to measure uh, the journals on that, and uh, then I'm going to take those numbers, write them down, and uh, then we're going to set up the dial board gauge. So let's get started, and I'll show you how to use this. Okay, first you want to make sure that this journal is good and clean. You will make sure there's no type of uh, debris on it and all that stuff. As you can tell, this is pretty set up clean. Okay. Now what you want to do is put over your micrometer over it and it has a little clicker on the end of it and uh, what you're trying to do is get the diameter of this okay and, uh, and how i normally do it i keep clicking on it and keep adjusting it up and down okay then eventually i don't see the little barrel turn at all and so when i feel comfortable with that, I stop clicking it and I just go ahead and take it up. Okay. This little over here kind of locks it in place. Okay. Hopefully you can see this a little bit better. Um, it's really hard to see on the GoPro. Anyway, um, the measurement comes out. This is two inch. Okay. Now it's 2.0. It starts with an O. Then each one of these underneath are worth 25. So 2.0. Then... Uh, we're at 75, so you got one, two, yeah, one, two, three marks I can see here. Got then you, to get the fourth one, you have to read the number underneath it, which that's a 20. So I now I left off with 75 and 20 is 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. So it's a 2.09. Then it's between the nine and the zero, and it's closer toward this end, so it's not quite half. But so I'm going to say it's a 2.092 at its best. So um, that's what we're looking at for the diameter here. So around a 2.092 is what it's kind of looking at now. 
If this was more halfway, it'd be 2095 and it gets closer. So that's why I'm telling you, with a better gauge, it, I, other gauges will have other marks over here. And you'll get down to even more a fine, finer number. But uh, like I said, this gauge does not. So this is more of a gut feel of how many thousands it's off. So anyway, that's what I'm calling on this one. Okay. Okay. Hope that makes sense. And if you couldn't see it, I'll try to take some up close up photos with my phone. I'll post it in the video and I'll draw some arrows on the photo and stuff and round or show you the numbers I'm looking at. So once you got that set up, the next thing that you want to do is take your dial bore gauge. Okay. And you were going to zero this out. Okay. So let me put it here in the vise and I'll show you how I zero, zero the gauge out. Okay. Hope you can see this. Uh, I put a the micrometer in a clamp, okay? And what I'm going to do next, this is the dial bore gauge. What I'm going to do, hope you can see this, okay? I'm going to position this in the micrometer. Then at the top, what I'm going to try to do is to get that gauge at the top to read zero, okay? So... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust it, okay? This is just a feel for her, what it is. So I'll rock it back and forth in this micrometer, okay? And try to get that thing perfectly on zero. And what I can tell that is on zero, okay? So, hang on. Now what I can do, since I know what the... The clearance, or I know what the diameter of these this journal is here. This micrometer or the dial bore gauge is zeroed out. Okay, now I can take a measurement on the two rods that are connected on this journal. Okay, since this is at the front, so this will be number one and two, because each of them hang off of this. So what I'll do, I'll take this guy and go measure my one and two rods and see what the clearance is. So let's do that next. Okay, I got both my pistons here. I got some bearings in them, and I did that on purpose. Uh, what I'm going to do next is take each of these pistons out, and we'll measure each one. Okay, so just kind of lay it here. Let me get my, uh, okay. You can tell what the measure on this one. This is showing about one and a half. Okay, so that's about 0.15. Okay, and on number two, you can see number two is sitting just at the past, past two. It's not quite halfway on the five mark, but we're just past number two here, okay? So I want to say that's like a 2.0021, 2.022, so it's on the two side. Now tolerances, or what clearance what you want is kind of your preference. We're going to shoot for just over two here between 02 and 025 or 0025 or, oh, you know, anything above 02, what you see in the other one, 022. I don't want anything tighter than that. So we're going to shoot for at least 0025 is what I'm going to try to shoot for. So that one I could probably stick another half in there and probably bump it up to about 025. The other one, definitely, it's too tight. It's sitting at 015, okay, 0015. And let me show you what you're going to need to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, what you're going to need, you're going to need a different assortments of bearings and stuff, okay? And I have to have an, uh, different types of bearings with me, okay? Um, I have some standards, okay? I have some uh, 001s, which is, this is the 001s. I got some 002s, okay? So I got three different sizes and this is how the how how it goes okay for example if i put two standard bearings in and it comes out to a point oh oh that's a three okay and if i put two oh oh one undersized bearings and that came out to a point oh oh two now i put some oh oh two oh oh twos came out oh ones so all you were doing is we're tightening that tolerance up okay we're making that that a lot smaller okay so it's getting really tighter okay so if i had an if i put two standard bearings in there and count to 003 and i'm shooting for a 25 what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to put these i'm gonna have to take a half of one okay 
So basically all I'm going to do is take a 0 .003, which is my standard, okay? Then I'm going to grab an 002 in there, and it'll come out to an 0025, and that's what I'm shooting for. So in this other case, okay, and this is what I need to talk about. What was in that rod was an 002 and an 001, okay? And that came out to an 0015. Now, my target is an 0025, right? So if I go in and take the 002 out and put an 001 in there, it's going to open it up to a point 002, okay? Now, if I go ahead and take the 001 out and stick the standard bearing in with 001, it should open up to an 0025. So to check this, to make sure I'm not smoking anything, let's go ahead and put a standard bearing in there with an 001 on it, and let's check the measurement. This is why you measure everything. Even though the math said that should have worked out, okay, it's just past 02, okay? So it's it's uh, really close, okay? So it's like an 022, 0.022, so... I think we're going to go with that. Like I said, I'm trying to shit, hit shit, shit, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm trying to hit uh, 0.025. I definitely don't want anything less than 2. So if I'm at 022, I am not going to sweat it one bit. But definitely that 015 was really tight. So we're going to call that one good and go on. So one thing dealing with these LS uh, rods, they are considered cracked rods, okay? And you'll know a crack rod when you see it. And it's just basically like it's been cracked across. And that's how they divide the halves. When you're putting these things together, make sure you grab both halves. Okay? And you'll feel where it should set in its where it's normally set at. You shouldn't feel any type of a, of a lip or any of that stuff. So typically I'll hold it where the, the, two, the, the cracks are at on both sides. Okay? And I'll hand tighten these down or finger tighten it down until I fill it then before I put it in the vise to tighten up I typically will go ahead and just kind of rotate this and just confirm that I don't feel any you know roughness on the side where they're cracked at okay and it's smooth across the face before I actually put it into the uh so like that and feels like it's it's lipped up just a little bit so it just you just have to be careful of how you how you put these things together and then before you put it, it put it in the vise, okay? And I'll show you how to tighten the bolts up on these two. There's always a certain way to tighten these things up. Okay, once you get it in the, the holder, I'll just go ahead and put pressure on it, put pressure on that. Then, when you tighten these up, I typically just make sure by hand, I'm not going to put any pressure, just, just to kind of snug them over just a little bit, okay? Then you take the torque wrench on it, and these are set to 45 pounds. And what I typically would do, I'll try to just go in small increments, okay? Because what's going to eventually going to happen is once you it clicks on one side, it will actually be tight on the other side. So that's why I take small increments, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, just about there. One more time. Okay. It's getting really close. Sorry, it's taking so long. That click. Now watch this. And this will click at the same time. See? That's what it means. Is once you come to the final torque on this, this thing will actually say I'm good. And you come over here and it says I'm good. So anyway. That's just a little tidbit of information. So basically, to do the other ones would be the same process as we did this one. We'll take the measurement on this journal, dial the bore gauge out, put it on here, and just go right down the list of all these pistons until we get the uh, clearance that we need. That we need. So um, anyway, hope this was uh, somewhat informational. Um, like I said, it's just a quick little video. Thinking, you know. Let me post one out there uh, and, uh, heck, post comments about it and stuff. If you have any questions, how I set it up, I'll be more happy to answer. If you feel like I did something wrong, please leave in the comments. I'm always like to learn some more stuff. 
but uh but yeah i thought it was a cool little video like i said and the open video it's not the most fanciest uh measurement equipment that i have and stuff but it's been suiting me well so anything with that uh uh share like the video and all that good stuff and uh we'll get this motor together here real soon so until then thanks for watching